Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? It's Generic, and today I have a little bit of an update video for you guys. So, um, I haven't really been posting a whole lot of content on my channel recently, and that's mostly because uh, I've, I haven't been feeling very well recently, and I, I didn't, I wasn't really feeling motivated to, uh, sit down and do recordings like this one, and, uh, you know, like, talk. What I have been doing, though, um, despite the fact that I have not been posting to the YouTube channel, is I have been live streaming on Twitch a lot. Uh, I actually just finished about 20 minutes ago, I finished a seven-hour stream. Um, it was split up into three different um, streams, one of them being nearly five hours, the other two being one hour each. Um, so there's a five-hour block of playing TF2. So if you want to you go watch that, you can. Um, as for his scr uh, streaming schedule, I still am working that out. Uh, I originally wanted to stream every weekday, so Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. But I found that because of my um, irregular sleep patterns and whatnot, um, being ready to start the live stream and actually play well and not, you know, just like flounder around at 1, uh, 1 p.m. was a little bit hectic, um, to say the least, and sometimes just impossible. So I think I'm going to push it back to um, 2. So 2 p.m. So I'm going to change the graphic on my um, page. Um, another thing that I've been doing is uh, I actually made a whole lot of... Uh, night. I made, I've made a lot of use of Nightbot, and I've done a lot of optimization to the way that things work. Um, I know that a lot of people use Nightbot to do things like, you know, have an exclamation point sensitivity, you know, command. So that somebody can be like, oh, what's their sensitivity? Okay, here's their sensitivity. Awesome. Um, but I took it a step further, instead of having to try to guess what all the different commands are, um, if you just type exclamation point settings, you get a huge spreadsheet, um, with all of the settings for all of the games that I play on, um, stream, which are primarily Team Fortress, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and Quick Live. So, those are the three games that I play on stream primarily. Um, I'm aware my stream does not look good. It looks not good, it is low res. And the reason is because um, with my current internet plan, I have extremely limited upstream speeds, meaning that um, f to upload things is just... In I have to be very careful because otherwise it's just going to affect my in-game performance since I play multiplayer games. Um, and so I want to actually, you know, pay for better upload speeds so that I can actually uh, live stream at 720p 60fps instead of like teeny 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 tiny re resolution that I'm using right now at 60 FPS but I still managed to cram in 60 FPS um, it's it's a pretty good setup the way that I have it I'll do a video about it if you guys want to see how I have things set up I have two different monitors um, I have uh, one screen divided into three different win three or four different windows that, um, and then the other screen being my the, the game um, so this would be the game game screen over here and then uh, that behind me is actually my backdrop, um, which is a blue fabric uh, pushpin board. So I actually there were actually holes in there already, so I put rope through it, tied a knot on the other side, and I hung it by a nail up there, and I had to um, get help adjusting the rope so that it was at the right height. Um, the webcam in the stream is cropped, so you don't actually see all this other crap like um, like my closet and other rooms and shit. Um, and my bike helmet over there. You don't see that kind of stuff um, in the stream. You just see my face and uh, the pop filter and the background. And uh, I actually have lighting on the side of my face, you can probably tell right there, to uh, kind of key light me. Um, I don't do that during live stream. I actually have the light backlighting that so that the, um, so that I more kind of pop out of the picture because since I'm streaming in low res, I have to try to you know, still make things look semi-crisp, which is, like, really difficult, but in terms of lighting, um, there's a really good way of doing it, because that way, um, you get a, a brighter background and a darker foreground, so the darker, the foreground will pop off of the, um, background, because the background's lighter, um, and so it makes for a better contrast, so it makes for better, sharper edges, um, so that works pretty well. Um, the gameplay that's going to be playing over this is uh, going to be Quake Live in the Instagib free-for-all game mode. Uh, and
and uh, I play Quick Live. Um, a lot of you guys probably didn't know that. That's fine. Um, <laughs> but the reason that I play it is because I that was actually my first game that I ever played in terms of first-person shooters was Quake 3 Arena. Except I, being the poor little nine-year-old that I was and knowing that my, my uh, parents would not buy me a game that had as much gore as um, Quake 3 Arena did, uh, had to download the demo version, which apparently no longer exists. I've been looking for it all over the place, and I can't find it, so... But, uh, I, I play Quake Live now, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, brings back kind of, like, childhood memories, so I really like playing it. It's, uh, it's hectic, you know? You run around, you, you, you go around to the speed of sound with rocket launchers and rail guns and shit. Lightning guns, and you go shoot the people and do 360 no-scopes with the rail gun. Um... So, I, I also bought the game for a couple of friends, uh, you know, primarily Lamb Shank, uh, God, Matt and Ashley, you know, um, and I also got, uh, Crazy, aka Ben, so, uh, I've got a couple of people that I can play with, um, to collect footage more consistently, because I, I can find servers with people on them, it's just, I don't know how good they are, um, because a lot of the people who play Quake Live are, like, amazingly good, like, you would think that they are actually cheating good. Uh, like, like just, um, people who have been playing the game for, like, years and years and years and years, and they're just godlike. Um, anyway, the point of this video is to kind of give you guys a heads up as to why I haven't been posting lately, and also to, also to, uh, let you guys know that I am live streaming, and I am trying to stay on a consistent schedule, and I think I'm gonna cut it back to maybe, so I am gonna have a minimum of three days a week. Minimum. Um, and then... Hopefully, I can still do the five days a week, um, but if it doesn't work out, I want to at least get three days a week, three or four days a week um, of live streaming, maybe like every other day or something, that'd be, that'd be good. Um, the, the optimization that I'm talking about, um, with, I almost wanted to say Aerospot, but that's a music bot for Discord, that's not, yeah. The optimization that I have for... The optimization that I have for Nightbot, who is the, you know, twitch.tv bot that you can do commands and custom commands and all this, sh um, all this shenanigans. So I, I made a Google Documents uh, file as a spreadsheet, and it has all of the settings for all, all three of the games. And I mean, when I say all of the settings, I mean all of the settings. If you want to know what video settings I run, it's there. If you want to know what, um, what resolution I want run, it's there. If you want to know you know, what what certain keys are bound to, it's there. Um, if, if something is not there and you would like it to be there, let me know and I might add it if I think that it's actually something that's relevant. Um, I, I don't think that I'm going to add some things. For example, uh, I think it's kind of going without saying that in Counter-Strike I have scroll wheel bound to jump because I do a lot of b-hopping when I play Counter-Strike. And then also you can see with the on-screen keyboard, which is really awesome that you guys are going to be able to see... Um, while this background footage plays, uh, you guys can actually see when I'm scrolling up and down um, on the screen, and then you can also see when I left click and right click, and it's really cool. Really, really like that um, on screen keyboard. It's one of the best ones I've ever used. It's called No Board. Anyway, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing live streams and that I'm trying to stay on a semi consistent schedule. At least that's the plan. And also that. Um, I am planning to make more content for this channel, and I actually want to make some comedy content, some stuff that's like not serious at all, and I also want to make some serious content. I'm actually going to be um, starting today. I have to record a um, a video that I've been wanting to record for a while to start off a series called um, Scripting in Source. So it's basically scripting in the source engine, how you can do things like bind keys, use alias commands, all this kind of stuff that's really, really cool, because the thing is that... Um, I saw a need to fill people often when they want a script to do something and for them in Team Fortress 2, they look up for that specific script and then they copy paste something and it's like, but they don't learn how it works and so if they have a crazy idea that nobody else has thought of, they can't possibly figure out how to code it without, you know, experience coding and so what I actually, um, so what I actually want to do is make a in-depth tutorial um, in like 10 or so episodes, uh, may maybe even 15 if we want to get into more advanced stuff on how to make 
scripts in source, and the first one's going to just start off with just introducing the different commands and what they do and how you can use them, um, which is basically like introducing the tools that you can then build your scripts with. Anyway, uh, that's all for you today, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.